Wowzers, I didn't expect to see a headline like this. This from Zero Hedge. Japanese panic buy gold as yen implodes and inflation soars. The otherwise quiet and rapidly aging population of Japan has found new infatuation with gold. And it has the relentless money printing juggernaut that is the Bank of Japan to thank for it. As the FT reports, the price of gold in Japan, and a little bit of sarcasm right here, denominated in that joke of a currency, blah blah blah, has jumped to an all-time high as the yen extends its historic slide against the dollar, vaporizing the purchasing power of residents and forcing cash-rich households to find a hedge against the ubiquitous inflation. Now, the power of a country's currency isn't just a matter of national pride, it affects the day-to-day -day lives of its citizens. When a central bank, like the BOJ in Japan, continually prints money, it could, of course, result into an insane amount of inflation. We, of course, know that all too well in the recent year and a half or so. When you get too much units of money in circulation, the total number, the supply, gets inflated. And if the total supply inflates too much, then each unit becomes worth a little less than it did before, or sometimes a whole lot less. Imagine you have a pizza pie. I'm from New York, remember? And instead of, a, instead of slice it into eight pieces, you slice it into 12. The pie hasn't gotten any bigger, they're just more, but smaller slices. So if you just eat one slice, then you're still hungry. Okay, silly analogy. But why are the Japanese turning to gold amidst this currency chaos? Historically, gold has been a stable source of value. Unlike fiat currencies, which are backed by a trust in government or institutions, gold's value is intrinsic. It's limited in quantity and can't be produced at the whim of a central bank. At least we're not in that Twilight Zone episode yet. Jasper Cole, an economist and advisor to the Japan Catalyst Fund, an investment fund, said that the primary driver for buying by Japanese households was an urgent search for inflation protection after years without strong incentive to move assets out of cash. The fact that gold is a non-yen asset helps, but the trigger is inflation. And this is why I've always said that you need to protect yourself by not putting all your eggs into this one fiat basket. Well, it's good to have cash in the bank, you need to have other assets. Prior to this roller coaster ride that we've been experiencing since 2020, I used to say that it's not good to, to invest in gold because it's not good in terms of a return on investment because gold really doesn't increase in value. At least not when you compare it to like a proven ETF where you can get more money on, uh, back, more money return on investment. But I would like to revise that real quick. Buying gold could be more like protection or like, rather an investment for your protection and your security. And I want to add that Japan's CPI inflation is nowhere near what it was in the U.S. last year. In Japan, it was around 4% earlier this year, and it's around 3.4% right now. So I'm not sure what all this fuss is about. I mean, yeah, 3.4% inflation is bad news, but it's not that bad. When we were at 9% last year, 3.4% would have felt like a dream come true. So here you can see gold and yen, so jeepers. I wonder what would happen if they get the 9% inflation. But regardless of whether or not this is an overreaction, in times of economic uncertainty when faith in the country's currency wanes with the policies like overprinting, people often flock to tangible assets like gold. It's a way for individuals to protect their wealth from unpredictable ebbs and flows of paper currency values.